Hello everybody, how's it going? And today we're gonna be doing some breakdowns. Breakdowns of things, aka my illustration piece. That's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna share some thought process that was going inside this little thing right here when I was doing this little piece called Bliss. And uh, that's the name of the illustration piece, it's called Bliss. And uh, yeah, let's, let's jump right into it, shall we? So it's been a while since I've drawn something worthwhile, meaning something that I've put some time into making, you know, after 100 years of sketching, I was slightly burnt out because I was just pushing myself very hard every single day and I was drawing, I wasn't drawing that many finished drawings, I was just sketching here and there, doing a lot of work for drawing cam, hashtag club drawing cam. Uh, yeah, so just doing a lot of these things. Other than that, I haven't drawn anything for me. Maybe I should put it like that. I haven't drawn anything that I wanted to draw for myself. I've just been drawing for, you know, things that needs to be drawn. So all of a sudden, one day, me and my mom were talking about some ancient Hindu Indian mythological stories about these gods and pantheons and these myths and legends and we were talking about this avatar called Vamana right and he's an avatar of Lord Vishnu he's a Hindu god is an Indian god so there's that by the way not into the religious aspects of things I'm into the story aspect of it there's something to it which I don't understand which really captivates me and I'm trying to explore that through these drawings so there was this god called Vamana and he descended upon from the heavens I might get the story wrong so don't blame me uh, he basically just took the shape of a dwarf, that is the idea, and he went on and defeated this demon king, or Asura, is the, that is the name, uh, called Mahabali. And uh, I thought, hey, you know what, man, uh, this seemed like a good story. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw that god after he has defeated that demon king. By the way, that king is not a bad king, rather he's more of a person who has descended into his own arrogance and who had to be put down by this avatar. So that is, that's a very complex story. I don't want to get into the story aspect of it, but rather this inspired me to draw this. And I've always wanted to do the series of illustrations where I'm drawing these mini little characters, right? In my own style, which is, I call this my mini style. And I wanted to draw characters in that style. And I thought I'll draw myself, but that didn't interest me enough to, for, for me to start drawing. And I thought maybe, Indian gods, right? Like this, that might be interesting for me to do. So that's what I did. I started sketching just randomly, just, just sketching while she was telling me the story. And all of a sudden, I had this very neat little draft sketch that I had in my hand. And I thought maybe I should just keep on going and finish this thing up, right? So I started refining things. I started adding things more and trying to get something out of it. And all of a sudden, it struck to me, Keisha, this is your break. You gotta break your illustration fast and gotta finish this little piece right here. So I thought, hey, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. So I started drawing this thing with the basic shapes and forms, right? And I had this idea of portraying bliss, some sort of a blissful moment after you have defeated something that you have been wanting to for a long time, right? This sense of bliss, that is what I wanted to capture in my piece. And I was trying to do that. And I think I'm, I've gotten close to it, I'm not sure. Maybe you should probably tell this because you have seen the piece already, but I wanted to capture that sense of bliss and movement. And that is what I was thinking when I was drawing the sketch for this piece. I, it, I, I was trying to replicate this flow of energy from that umbrella that the character was holding. And that flow of energy just went in and it exited through the hand, which was sort of, you know, like sort of, felt like this, right? It's sort of this weird flow of energy that I was trying to capture in the piece. And uh, every line I made was actually trying to assist that thing, right? That the flow of energy through different things. I was trying to let go of the energy through the hands of that piece. So that was, I was thinking in terms of gesture. I was trying to create a dynamic drawing that I could look at it and say, man, that is very, very nice. And uh, speaking of style, 
I wanted to do this like a little character that I usually draw, but my little characters are usually very, very cartoony. I don't want this to be too cartoony. I just want this to be cartoony because it's fun to see Indian gods in cartoonic forms because not a lot of people have done that. I wanted to maintain a sense of anatomy, a little bit sense of realism, but not too much of cartooniness, if that is a word, but rather I maintain all these solid forms, the look of the character, try to add as much details as possible while while maintaining that cartoonic feel, right? So that's what was going inside my head while I was doing the sketches. And I was constantly just going over it and uh, refining each and every single line. So this is something that I usually do, right? When I'm sketching something, I always try to spend as much time as, much as I can in that phase, because I feel that's one of the most, if not the most important phase in the process of creating. It's like a pre-production for your drawing. You gotta, you gotta have that ready. You gotta have that, you know, set up exactly and perfectly, right? So that you can go into the inking phase or the coloring phase, or if your process doesn't involve inking, you go straight away into painting or coloring. It makes that process a lot easier. I spent like 2.5 hours just on sketching alone. This piece took me like 5.5 hours, you know, 5.3 hours or something. 2.5 hours just went into just sketching, 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 refining the thing, refining the thing, refining the thing. And I really wanted to maintain that Indian vibe in my piece, right? The necklaces, the necklace or the, the mala, is mala is what we call it in Tamil, right? The thing on the thing, the beads here and there, the white clothing and uh, the skin, the marks and everything. I wanted to maintain that sense of Indianness right into the uh, piece and uh, and that is what really inspired me to do this thing so once i got done with the sketching i was i was really procrastinating on inking the piece because i didn't know what to do with the inking i usually use this brush called dry ink dry ink that is the brush right dry ink a toothbrush dry ink brush right that is what i use on this app called procreate that is also the app that I use on my iPad Pro. Right? Don't keep asking me. These are the things that I use. So I was, I was procrastinating on choosing the brush that I wanted to ink the piece because I wanted to maintain that cartoonic feel, right? Then that means I got to maintain the line work for the piece. So dry ink was a brush which I went with because that's a more comfortable brush for me and it has that uh, inky brush feelingness to it while maintain, maintaining some sort of a little pencil sketchy feel to the piece because there is this beauty to the sketching phase that I want to sort of maintain into my other phases as well. And the coloring, oh boy, that was one hell of a confusion phase for me. I was like, once I was done with the inks, it's like, the hell am I gonna do with the colors right now? <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to do. And the thing was, it, this piece didn't have a background. This was meant to be a spot illustration and didn't have a background. And it was this white background. I thought I'll just lay down a proper color mat like I usually do, like a full on color background with nothing in it. I tried that, it didn't work out. I was trying different kinds of colors for the clothing. And I wanted that blue and red feel to this piece, the warm and the cold feel to this piece. And I couldn't get that because most of the colors were warm. The skin, warm. Dress, white. Beads, warm. Umbrella, warm. Everything was warm. There was no feeling of contrast in this piece. And I wanted to get that feeling of contrast. So I started, uh, sort of experimented with a lot of things by uh, especially, right, if you look at the clothing, I tried red at first, right? Red didn't work out. So I went with white again. And if you look at the shadows in the clothing, there's a lot of blue shadows or cooler shadows rather than warmer shadows. I wanted, to, wanted that thing to contrast with the face, right? And with the umbrella and uh, also the clouds that the character is sitting on. And uh, then instead of just putting a standard color background as a background, I'd rather just put up a sort of like a sky-ish background with a sort of like a sense of space vibe but more bluer and that sort of contrasted with my thing. So if you look at the entire piece, that'll be a certain section which will be fully sort of warm. The other section is 
fully cold or cooler colors because it was meant to contrast with each other which makes that character out in the front stand out a lot so that is uh, another thing and the shape of the background was chosen in a way that it contrasts the shape of the character and the cloud and it had this sort of like this triangular blobby shape and i just thought you know what i'll do a contrasting opposite thing of it i didn't even think about it then and just looking at it right now it's like man my character design principles are coming into play you know all the ingrained stuff it's just like flowing through me like magic so yeah both of those things were meant to be contrasting so a lot of things went into this piece those are my thought processes that were going inside this little head when i was doing this piece and i really liked it and it just took me 5 hours so one of the goals that i have these days is to spend time doing these 5 to 10 hour pieces i've done a lot of these daily drawings which takes me around about an hour or two every day that is easy for me right now i just want to spend more time into my drawing create pieces that last a bit longer and that tests my patience because i'm so used to instant gratification right i want i want to test myself how long can i last you know without uh, you know just bursting into you know madness or boredom while working on a piece uh, that is the idea behind this thing i'll probably be doing more of this and i'll do more breakdowns of all of my pieces so that is it for this episode of this breakdown thank you for watching i don't know what i'm doing right now with my head shaking but <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.